Hi everyone, welcome to the Marketing Rocket introductory video. First of all, I wanted to thank all our beta subscribers, testers and pre-sale buyers. We have had a really positive response to our initial pre-release, both from the Joomla community and the marketing community as a whole. We're really excited to show you what Marketing Rocket can do for your business, either as a site developer, marketing consultant or a business owner looking to sell products. And of course, what's in store for future releases. In this video, we're going to walk you through the basics of installation and setup of Marketing Rocket and how to create your first automated sales funnel using our campaign wizard. We recommend anyone new to Marketing Rocket watch this video from start to finish as it will give you the basics you need to start creating your own marketing funnels. For specific support or installation information, please head to the documentation page on the Marketing Rocket website for more information. That's marketing-rocket.com forward slash documentation. If you have any specific support inquiries or experience any issues, please log in using your email and password and submit a support ticket on the Marketing Rocket website. For those new to Marketing Rocket and its features, Marketing Rocket is designed as an all-in-one sales automation tool for business and marketing consultants. It contains five core features. Landing page creator, create beautiful mobile responsive landing pages in just minutes using our custom drag and drop editor. This gives you near unlimited flexibility in your designs, along with adding opt-in forms and setting certain events to trigger when the lead submits their details to the page. Autoresponders, create email autoresponders that will fire off in response to actions taken on your landing pages. Marketing Rocket integrates with Mandrel, which allows improved mail deliverability and gives you up to 12,500 free emails per month or subscribe your existing list in MailChimp and let MailChimp handle the autoresponders. Webinars, host unlimited attendee webinars for free using the power of Google Hangouts. Create, sell and promote your webinars using the Marketing Rocket platform. Lead management, our Light CRM lets you see all the data a lead has submitted to you using Marketing Rocket. You can add notes to a lead, see their progress in campaigns and also tag them in order to track progress and set them on new paths through new relevant campaigns. Campaign Wizard. Create complex and highly successful marketing campaigns in just minutes. Our Campaign Wizard has been designed to deploy entire marketing campaigns with just a few clicks. So far, it has been the most talked about feature of our software. Let's start by performing a simple installation of Marketing Rocket. First, we log into our Joomla installation. Go to the Extensions Manager and Browse. Now select the downloaded package from the Marketing Rocket website and press upload and install. Once installed, let's set up the basic options so we can get started. Go to the Marketing Rocket menu and dashboard. You will notice at the top of the dashboard, it will advise us that our download ID is missing or incorrect. To obtain this, go to the Marketing Rocket website. First, head to the login page, enter your details, and then in the support menu, navigate to download ID. Now select and copy the key in the yellow box. Below that, Enter the domain you will be running Marketing Rocket on. In the Marketing Rocket software, we go to Options, click the Live Update tab, paste in our key, and press Save and Close. This will give your Marketing Rocket installation access to the one-click update server as long as you have a valid subscription. Now we need to set up the API keys so we have access to payments and mailing. In the left-hand menu, click on API List, and then in the top left, press New. For now, we're going to set up two APIs. PayPal, so you can take payments on your pages, and Mandrel, for mail deliverability. Let's first select Mandrel. Enter a title to identify the account. Now head to mandrel.com. Once this page is loaded, enter an email address and password, and press Get Started. This creates an account straight away. Fill out the Tell Us About Yourself box with your relevant business information. I would suggest you explore the Mandrel setup to ensure better deliverability by adding additional information such as SPF records. But for now, we'll just set up the basics. Scroll down and click Get API Keys. Re-enter your password and scroll down again and press Add API Key. Select this key and copy it. Then go back to Marketing Rocket and paste the key in the API Key box and press Save and Close. Now let's add our PayPal API. Once again, press New and this time click on PayPal. Now simply enter your PayPal email address and a relevant title. Notice here that you can turn on sandbox mode at any time for testing purposes. Once done, press save and close. Now we have the application set up, let's explore the dashboard. The dashboard area is split into three sections. We have the click links at the top. These take us to the various key areas of the software. They also advise us of messages from the Marketing Rocket team and give us a quick link to our documentation pages. And when there is an update available, the update icon will flash to let you know. The second section is statistics. 
We've trimmed down our statistics to show you just the important information that you need to track your campaigns, without all the complexity. For those that want further tracking, Google Analytics or other tracking codes are easily integrated into Marketing Rocket. Finally, we have the top performing landing pages view, which shows us the best performing pages across all campaigns. Possibly the best way to show you through the application is for us to create a quick lead funnel using our campaign wizard. The goal of this funnel will be to take our leads through an advanced five-step sales funnel, similar to what the digital marketer uses. So let's click on the wizard to get started. On the left side, you can see that we have two basic campaigns set up for this demonstration. Clicking on either of these campaigns will show you some basic information and a visual representation of the campaign that will be created. In this instance, we're going to select the five-step sales funnel. Notice on the visual layout, we can see that there is five pages and four different sets of autoresponders, that is emails, that will be sent to the leads if they successfully progress in our campaign. So let's click Create Campaign. Now we select a name for our campaign and we can add a description if we like for our own reference. Pressing Save and Continue will take us to the next step. Notice on the left hand side, the wizard will take us through the setup of each step of our funnel. Once the setup of that part is completed, it will show a tick next to that item. First, we need to add a name for our first squeeze page. The wizard will show the default template for this campaign, or we can scroll down at any time and select a different template. We can choose to edit this page now, or just continue with the defaults and edit our page or content later. In this demonstration, I'm going to leave the defaults for now and press save and continue. Now we're presented with our first set of autoresponders. These will fire off upon a lead submitting their details to the first landing page. At this stage, we need to enter the name and email address that these autoresponders will be sent from. Again, we can choose from a list of default templates or we can leave the default template and edit it later. The wizard will automatically create links to the next page in the campaign as we go, so there's no need to remember page links or URLs. I'm going to scroll down and press save and continue and leave the default gain logic fear copy for now. Now we're presented with our second landing page, our tripwire. In this instance, let's select a template and press edit so that we can explore the drag and drop landing page creator and have a look at how we can quickly edit a page with no coding required. The editor is split into three main sections. The settings pane, where you can change all the page settings and item settings. The items panel, which lists all the different types of page items you can drag into a page. And the canvas, which is the editor area and shows you an accurate display of how the page will look when live. When creating a new page, the landing settings will pop open so you can set up the page settings quickly and then go into editing the page content. Each option here has a tooltip that explains its use. Any item with a star is required for the page to function. Let's set up a basic page here and fill in some basic options. We're going to add payment here as well as it's our tripwire. Now we can edit our page to look exactly how we want. To understand how to use the editor, we need to understand the different page containers and how Bootstrap works with 12 columns in a row. But never fear, this is very easy to grasp with our visual editor. Firstly, we have three main containers where your content will sit on a page. Let's look at these. The first one is a section. Sections are long, fluid width bars along the page. These might have a coloured image or gradient background. A section is represented by the blue buttons and border. These are the bottom layer of a page. Rows. Rows are your page area where you can drop your content. They also have a variety of backgrounds, borders, page margins and more. Rows are identified by a green settings icon and a green border. Rows sit inside the sections. Finally, items and containers. Items are the actual content items that you drop into the page. These sit inside rows and can be resized by dragging the edges. These are represented by red borders and settings buttons. Items will have different types of settings depending on what the item is. They are all fairly self-explanatory as to how they work. At any time, if you want to see what column or item is where, you can turn on wireframe mode. This view will show all the border boxes for the different types of containers. This is very handy if you want to troubleshoot any visual issues you might have, or if you drop an item that throws out your layout. To edit content in a text box, we can simply double click on the content and the inline editor will pop up. We can now edit the content as required using the standard tools. Marketing Rocket by default uses two-step opt-in buttons. When you click on a button, a modal window will pop up, showing the form where your leads can enter their details. We can also insert the form directly into the page. Editing this modal window is very easy. Simply click on the show modal layout and enter the content by dropping the items and changing the desired settings. To edit the form contents, we simply go into landing settings, go to form builder, and open the form editor. 
Here we can add any fields we like with our drag and drop form editor. I recommend you use the default templates and modify them as required until you're used to the editor. Once you feel comfortable, you can create your own templates from scratch. You can even easily import and export your own templates to share with others. Our landing creator has many additional features not covered in this video. We will be creating a more extensive landing page creator video showing you more in-depth guide on its features later on. As this page is now completed, let's press save. Now we'll be taken back to the relevant step in the campaign wizard to continue on. Let's press save and continue. Again, we'll fill out our name and email address in our autoresponders. We can now continue with the same process through the rest of the steps in the wizard. And now we're all done. You can see the wizard has created our full campaign and we are presented with the campaign visualizer page. This shows us an easy to understand visual representation of the campaign process. We can click on any landing page here to quickly edit it. To view our campaign, we can go to the landing pages tab and click on the link icon next to our first page. This link is the one we can direct our adverts or website call to actions to. This will refer people directly to the start of the campaign. As you can see, we can now progress through our campaign, test and check our pages. Marketing Rocket also comes with a Joomla module, which allows you to select a landing page and then select from any buttons on that page to place anywhere you like on your website. This way, you can have your campaign call to action buttons anywhere you like on your Joomla website. Thanks for watching. You can expect more specific tutorials and videos in the coming weeks. Please head to the documentation pages should you require further explanations on each of the sections of Marketing Rocket.